Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 24 of Let's Play Holy Warfare with Northern Lion and Mathis. Say hi Hello. guys. Hello. And uh, I think we, we kind of agreed on a few things off camera. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of dive right in and let that happen, yes? Correct. Yes. Okay, so I'll let you Mathis. guys explain. Yeah, Mathis, why don't you walk us through the what I consider to be the largest part of this? Yeah, so after watching and reading a lot of people's comments, we've come to the conclusion that you, a lot of you are right that the uh, that oh, I have an uprising surprise um, that a lot of uh, the holy warfare stuff has been kind of pushed to the side after I ate up Brian really quickly. So, well, excuse me, I agreed to become a vassal. There was no. Correct. Eating up that happens. <laughs> True. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to release Northern Lion to the wild and let him do his own thing and uh, let him live his own life as he pleases. All right. Just don't get uh, empty. Who are you? Syndrome. Which one are you? Hunfred? I'm uh, King <laughs> Hunfred of Germany. Hunfred Hunfreding? That's an awful yes. name. Excuse me? Why don't you say that to my face now that we're not allies? I'm well, looking for the option. All right. Um... Where's Grant? Oh, I can't grant you independence. You have to be at peace. Oh, yeah, Ooh. that makes a lot of sense, actually. So once... That's the same reason that I can't grant independence to those counties yet. So once Roomba. you're at peace, I will grant you independence. Let me know how that long that's going to end up. All right, that, that mm. might, take, <laughs> might take a video. <laughs> how, how convenient. Uh, you're reneging on your agreement already. I can't Every give it to him. I can't even give Every it to him. Every time. Right, Why well, is it least... taking so long to siege? My God. It's like 12 more days to siege, and then it just doesn't happen. <laughs> I, well, I don't have the men to siege because my liege won't help me. I'm taking care of like three uprisings right now. I'm sorry. Oh my! It's, it started again. Things are gonna be different this time, baby. <laughs> I promise. And then we get two minutes into the episode. It's, it's exactly the same. Okay, I'm handling one of these uprisings for you, by the way. Are you? Well, thank you. Yeah, this this Catholic uprising here doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> but then. It's it, we will do this. We just have to do some housekeeping right. first. It's just mm -hmm. oh, tidying yeah. up. I believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ruba. I've noticed you're you're not struggling too much over here. You just took over no. all of Scotland in like literally the two and a half minutes since the video started. <laughs> no, that was well in the way. Well, well underway before we started. I know, yeah, when I loaded it up, uh, or when we loaded it up, I was like, he has Jorvik and like Cumberland or something up there. But then I didn't realize that you actually had uh, you know complete control over the. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I sieged it all, most of it. I was already carpet sieging, which is, is a really good position to start in. Mm. Yeah, no kidding. I can... Meanwhile... So, uh, yeah, since the last time we played, there's a new patch. Um, I don't know if we talked about that. We didn't talk about that last week, did we? I don't think so. Why don't you tell me what's going on with the new patch? Because I have no idea. Well, it's not actually it's not actually out yet, um, but it's, a, it's an opt-in beta, and... Like, what they found is that all of the event spawn... Everyone knew this, I think, just from, like, playing the game. <laughs> all the event spawn troops were still kind of tied to the normal lieges, like the liege levies from before. Mm -hmm. mm. And... But they, like, dropped levies across the board. So okay. the carrion for the vultures... I think you've had that a few times in this playthrough, actually. I just say it all the time. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> but, like, but, like, you have a peasant rebellion or something, and then they rise up. Even the peasant rebellions are stronger than they should be. Yeah, because they they operate under the assumption you have more troops than you could possibly have. Yeah, that, so I've definitely it's good. dealt with that a couple times. Supposedly it's compatible with this patch, but um, yeah, we're just probably gonna stick on this one. Oh no, the Knights Templar! Run! You're getting attacked that's by the Knights not... Templar? Yeah, it's not good for this uh, for this holy war for Brittany. Oh, probably end up surrendering that one. It <laughs> just gets all right. <laughs> Unless I win, I can righteously imprison battle. you. I would. I wish you because you're trying to kill though. somebody. Apparently, <laughs> I I really wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyway. I'm actually fighting a pretty valiant battle against the Knights Templar here, but it's it's going to be in vain. At least it was valiant. I so, we we traded like one for one with men, but still. Dude, I'm still anyway. recovering from the Lost Holy War. <laughs> like in the first episode we recorded last week. <laughs> I know. It's like, I'm trying to reform. I have, I have enough titles. Everyone's been asking me in my comments, like, how come you don't attack, um, like, England or something? And it's like, I'm trying to get holy wars, not mm. subjugation wars. Holy wars or uh, conquest wars, because you get piety. And uh, it also gives you moral authority. But I'm still at 31 because Mathis invaded my capital. Mm. It's awesome. It was entertaining, at least. It was. You know. I'm still a little angry about I it. I wanted to give it to the Pope. That was what I really <laughs> wanted to do, but the Pope just said no. And I was just sad about it. 
Where's this other war? Leader Wh which the other peasant I, I... revolt. Where is this? Okay. Oh, they're way Let's... up in a uh, in a Roomba's land. Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna let them revolt. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I can't even grant them independence because Ryan owns them. Ryan, if you want to grant them independence, just... I can because I got 20 wars happening. Right? It's, it'll happen. It just needs a second. <laughs> I'm like, oh, right, I don't so, really... What's going to happen if they win? They they become independent anyway? Like, whatever. Yeah, what, what does happen when peasant revolts win? Oh, uh, they, yeah, they just become an independent county. Uh, okay. Yeah. Based on what they occupy. Temporarily. So if you lose that, the Vi the Vikish peasant revolt, then that means I get to eat them. All right, well... Uh, yeah, well, that's a good yeah, thing. I don't yet. really give a damn. Convenient for me. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I ended one of the wars. All right, I also ended one of my wars. Now I only have two. One the of them ships. being that uh, Vikish peasant revolt, which I have so much. I just wish there was something to do. Why can't I convert to Catholicism? What the fuck? You sh oh my God, do it! The pillow is talk your, uh, of your spouse or concubine is can be very persuasive. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> your wife, one of your my concubine. Is, uh, yeah, I took a, I took a Catholic one uh, concubine. That's funny. It'd be funny if yep. I turn Catholic, I just leave you as Tengri. <laughs> <North Carolina, laughs> <I fuck yourself. laughs> it's an Irish character. Too. That's Kind of she was in my prison. Be... She was in my prison. I just, just is like, eh, you look like you'd be fun. Yeah, wow. that's how it usually is decided, right? Right. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure something out here. Right, you still have the independence faction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I. If I you guess fire that faction, it. can you fire that faction? And I, I, I cannot. Uh, okay. I have nine percent. Oh, I. I need to be at peace before I can fire it. All right, well, same thing. That's the same thing with me granting you independence, so. Yeah, right? Like, I guess it's up to you. It's all the same. Yeah. I do have 10% of your uh, army, so I'm a little bit... You're scary. I, I think I could probably take I you. I think you could. If I just put myself on the mountains, and then I have the Joan of Arc event fire, even though I'm not Catholic, yep. and then... I don't even <laughs> oh. know. Incredible <laughs> dice rolls. Anything else? <laughs> I think it, I only need like three oh, or four. Oh shit! Oh shit! I just did the worst thing in the world. I think. Hang on. What'd you? Do? Did you? Did you give my realm to somebody else? Um, we're about to find sink? out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah. That would be worse. Oh, speaking of, there you um, go. It's completely there you go. completely random, but look at you guys. The county. Remember we were talking. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. go ahead. Yeah. In your lands, look. What? Oh, the Vikish peasant. I, gave, I just surrendered. I said, have it. Oh yeah. There's a I county. lost hundred prestige. Oh no. Wow. What are, you, are you gonna, what are you gonna do? I mean, I still... How are you gonna make up? Are you gonna be able to recover from that? <laughs> I don't that? know. It's tough. I mean, I have like 9,000 gold, so... Oh my god. So somebody was telling me that in the next patch, the actual beta patch, you can actually use the auto-invite to plot button permanently. Oh, really? Oh, you don't have to turn it on and off? Big news. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's amazing. Uh, alright. Well... I have one more small war, and I think I'll white piece out of it so we can make this stuff happen on this episode. All right. Even though I wish to see this man crushed and or this man crushed and driven before me. Your opinion? It might be possible. The Pope hates me again. Man, come on. I you hate me too. Well, yeah, because I tried to murder you. Four, oh. I tried to murder you four times. I hate you and you hate me. Oh uh, yeah. You're the wrong. You're the different religions. You shouldn't like each other. <laughs> no, I'm I'm uh, Tangri. You are? Again? Yeah. It just happens, man. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> he caught, caught a cold. <laughs> exactly. Tangry. It just, the, it, it struck me. Alright, white piece. And now we should be able to make some amazing things happen. Betrothed can marry. Sure, are you, who cares. Are you free? For uh, more? I, I am free now. Alright, here you go. Let's see how the, oh shit. Be free. Okay. Oh lord. Be free. Yes, ma getting married. <laughs> Why do you refuse? Oh man, this is cool. Okay. All right, you're. F oh, <laughs> this is gonna last so. It's gonna go so poorly. <laughs> Just wait. You still have so much land in Carpathia. But you're free, sir. Frolic That's amongst true. the flowers. I don't even know what I go for next. Like, do you freaking? How does France have? Oh, it's because of the Knights Templar. Okay. Now. If I could just figure out how to convert to Catholicism. Is there any way that you, I could, uh, like, you're divorce? Tangri. Marry a Catholic. That's the same thing that, uh, make a, make a Catholic into a concubine. Yeah, that's exactly all you have to do. Oh, okay, good idea. 
That's what Mathis was just running into. Yeah. How about you, Chiefess Hedwig? She's tangry. I don't. I don't have any uh, prisoners that I can turn into concubines. Actually, my character's so. I'm so happy. My character's so young because he's so loved, and I have no heir <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's why I took, you have no I air. have no air. No. I it's just I have no, my one child is a girl and apparently that's not good enough. So why would you tell us that? Be, well, we have, yeah, a, we have <laughs> hey, we have a gentleman's agreement to not wipe each other out of the game. So I guess so. Yeah, mm. that, that's how old is that agreement? Uh, <laughs> since we started the game, can we go back on it at I all? I don't think so. I think it's mm. grandfathered in at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, I'm pretty amazed with myself. Uh, without any help from anybody <laughs> I like else, I, I'm so happy I created an independent Germany, so that's pretty amazing. There you go. Look at that. Where's my post on our Crusader Kings? <laughs> and now you can go ahead and grant the lands in uh, Arumaville independence. Oh, wait, that's a good point that I did not consider. Oh, there's a German Catholic revolt. Can I just convert to that? I want to convert to the religion. You actually want to be Catholic? That's weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just so shocked. Um, there's independent Vestergotlands, and I will give this to... Yeah, thank you, Frizia. Um, okay, that's good news. Sorry. Um, what, what is that county up there that you need? Oh, any of them would be good. <laughs> Dahl. The more you want to give me, the better. <laughs> All right, the county of Dahl. Sorry, Theodoric, I'm kind of selling you out here. <laughs> Um, County of Dahl. Well, you're granting me independence. He's going to really love you for it. I'm pretty sure that's how it yeah, works. Yeah, there you go. Be best of luck over there <laughs> in the middle of that empire. <laughs> okay. This would be such a great way now to Now I'm just going to focus on wiping out the Muslims. Man, first off, that's really offensive. Secondly, <laughs> this, is, this is some nonsense. If you, like, a, a Catholic uprising... I can't just convert to Catholicism. If they win, they take all titles. You just need to, you just need to uh, convert to Catholicism by grabbing a Catholic concubine. You'll be fine. I'm I, don't, sure. I don't. Any any Catholic attacks you, you have an option in the decisions menu to change. Just embrace the faith. Yeah, but not for uh, although not for uprisings, apparently. Yeah, it needs to be a hostile invasion, but it could actually be, could not be possible because you reformed the Tengri faith, right, Mathis? I did reform the Tengri faith. Correct. I think after you reform it, you can't do that. I think you have to be an unreformed pagan mm. to just just accept someone else's religion. The Muslims, well, that's the Muslims are so fractured; they're going to be so easy. So, okay, well, here's what you could do: know the line. You're you're Germany, right? Yeah. Look at Aquitaine; they're right next to you. Just yep. raise up, raise up some troops, flag them as raiders, and then just go raid all of your coastal or like border provinces, and hope that you capture a young woman. I'm gonna be and, straight with you. I have never done raiding before, so this should be. Do you interesting. have a? Don't you have? A, do you have a Catholic prisoner? Uh, I have a, a Tengri female prisoner. The other ones are all male. Oh, that's a, well. Right. Yeah. So you just go, just siege stuff until you actually. It's like sieging the holding. You'll take random prisoners, and if one of them's breedable, then you just take her as a good old breedable woman. <laughs> one of them yeah. is breedable. <laughs> <laughs> They're like livestock, right? All right. In the well, Middle Ages. Me, I'll deal with this peasant revolt first, and then we'll we'll sort it out. There's never a time when I'm not at war. It's not a bad thing. It, it's kind of my own fault for the consistent conversions, I guess. Kind of my own fault. Um, but it's annoying nonetheless. Sometimes you just want to hang out and look at the map for a little while. <laughs> it's my feeling on it anyway. So I'm up to 33 moral authority. Amazing. And what do you have to be at to reform it? 50. Almost. Mm -hmm. Getting there. Mathis, yeah. to make things interesting, you should uh, release the kingdom of Burgundy as well. Why? What's Burgundy? I don't know. It just makes the borders look real ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I'm dealing with uh, some Muslims. Hang on. I don't know. I don't like how you call them like that. <laughs> did you, <laughs> did you use their Muslim. country name? Their, their sheikdom? The sheikdom? I don't even know who they are. I just saw... Muslims and I attacked. Wow. Don't get mad He's at me. Four, foreign policy expert here. So how powerful are you, Northern Line? Uh, I have like 6,000 men that I can raise. It's pretty good. So it's better, like when I was under Mathis's reign, I could only raise like 2,500, so. Mm-hmm. You could actually, in, as long as you stay tangry, you'll be able to like attack your former Carling. Oh, that was the other thing. We didn't even talk about that, how you change characters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, that, that, again, I'd like to... I'd like to offer in my own defense that we, we record these in like seven video batches yep. 
and then we take a week off. So what happened in that recording session is like the last video, I, my character got assassinated three times and apparently one or more of my titles was under Gavelkind and I just, next time I loaded it up, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm the king of Lotharingia. <laughs> And I wasn't. <laughs> and that wasn't well, it. <laughs> yeah. And Nick I spent like four videos fighting my former self and was like, man, this guy's a real asshole. He's really <laughs> difficult to kill. <laughs> Next time you should just be like, who was I? Oh, the Duke yeah. of Axum. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Load up a completely random character. King, King of Castile, I think. <laughs> Castile's looking pretty nice down there. How's Ireland looking? We united them. Pretty... Yeah, they're, they're doing all right, man. They're doing all right. Except room is now taking them over. I actually didn't do anything. I did no, not attack did... the guy. He just sort of like randomly joined the realm. <laughs> I don't remember this Kildare thing. Kildare and Diflin. It was not me. Good pronunciation, by the way. Was it? I, I don't know. I mean, I, they, ask the viewers. That like, that's like the Norse, uh, Norse Dublin or something. I get lots of people who are actually saying on my on my comments about how um, you you somehow managed to produce to pronounce words worse than I do. I believe it. It's tough. It's really tough to pronounce words in a global game and actually make everyone happy. That's impossible. Yeah. I don't think it's really tough. I just think it's fucking <laughs> impossible. So I intentionally say things wrong. It's fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, if you're going to piss off some people, might as well piss off everybody. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I'm going to travel right through the county of Derby now. Good old Derby. <laughs> Chester. Lancaster. Chest Chester's not right? Lan I think it is. Lanchester. Lancaster. <laughs> What's what's the one up here? Like like oh, Leicester, Leicester. <laughs> I don't. It's probably like Leicestershire or something. Yeah. It's impossible. Um, why are you declaring? Just stop declaring war on me, you asshole. Everyone's a dick. Everyone's a dick. <laughs> this guy has forty-seven troops. He declared his war on me. Well, he's angry with you. What is it? It's oh, never mind. He's got a few. Uh, we'll be okay though. I'm just Feels nice. I got. We're in like exactly the same situation that we were in when, or I'm in exactly the same situation I was in when I like started this series. Where now it's just like constant defensive wars again. <laughs> Amalfi, age sixty nine. Well, he's got that going for him. Is that? It says you. Tell, Emperor has usurped a title. <laughs> Why do I care? Uh, you know, maybe you want it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I mean, here you go. Sounds good. I don't know. I'm assuming you usurped something, like you usurped a title that I usurped from you, Roomba. No, I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably because it's with, like a county within your duchy. Probably. Or something. I've actually managed to take back that capital. I could totally turn it into my capital again. You should. Level 2.2 .2 legalism. It's probably better than what I have. It is. One other thing they changed is that um, in the next patch, you can no longer plot to revoke... Or plot to kill characters you grant land to oh, for really? a short period of time. Mm. So you can't I'm really a... do what I did in the beginning of the series. <laughs> in the intrigue menu, uh, when you go to revoke, you have like a really limited selection of, of counties and, and duchies to revoke. Do you know what the criteria is for? Mm -hmm. So you you can always plot to kill people if you are their heir. Okay. So so they'll show up in that case. Um, let's say you own a duchy and. Your capital county is in the duchy, and there are other counties in that duchy that you don't own. Then you can plot to revoke counties from people that way. Okay. You can Good almost enough. always plot to kill your spouse, um, but you could do that anyway just by going to the character yeah. and right-clicking. And then, other than that, like if you're if you have a liege, you can plot to reduce people's power by like getting rid of their extra duchies and stuff. I did not know that actually. It's good well, to know. You, it's. You're like most players. Probably you haven't spent much time as a vassal. Yeah, that's very true, actually. I, yeah, most... I like exclusively play as, as the highest level title in the realm. Yep, and then you almost always end up going independent at some point. So mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting, though, playing as a vassal. Can be. Yeah. I, I, well, actually, you know, I have spent some time as a vassal uh, under Mathis. Right. <laughs> and I think I think I did a pretty good job of role playing because I was basically just like, oh come on, leash, <laughs> like, like I, starting my starting fights and then having him finish them. Hopefully, but didn't work out that way for the most part. By the way, Aquitaine right now uh, looks like they are losing a war to the Oglabid Sultanate. So, you know, there's that. Uh -oh. How does that happen? Oh, wait, what does this guy want? 
You want Tuscany? Fuck it, dude. Just take oh, it. I... Shit. Nope. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. That's the end of this video. As always, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and check out the video from uh, both Northern Line and Mathis's perspective, because totally different things are happening all over the world right now. You know, I'm doing interesting things, and they probably are too. <laughs> I just <laughs> fucked everything up, and I'll explain it next episode. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> All right. We'll see you again soon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Later.